choose life? <laughs> oh, he's flirting with us. All right, so hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, by the title, we are doing the new episode series. I'm so excited. We are doing the princess, the princess, the princes bride um you guys said that other people were doing the other ones so i just canceled those out and i thought we'd do this one which i'm excited for it's something different and new um before we start the video though i just want to thank you guys because we hit a hundred thousand subscribers i cannot believe we did this and i'm so grateful and blessed and i cannot say thank you enough i love you guys and thank you for all your support um i will be doing a giveaway so follow me on my instagram it is just brooke alicia i'll leave it here on the screen um i will be posting updates on there and just stuff like that make sure you're following me because you get all the sneak peeks but yeah i this is so surreal to me and it's crazy so thank you guys I love you guys to the moon and back. Like, literally, I just I love you guys so much. But I'm going to stop rambling um, before I start crying. Um, so let's just jump into the prin Ooh, the Princess Bride. That's like, a I don't know why I'm like struggling saying it, but I am. Um, but let's get into the Princess Bride and see what happens and see if it's good. I hope it is. So let's get into the tea. All right. All right. Let's see. Tonight is the biggest night of your life. The night that the princess bride will finally be chosen. My lady. Oh my god. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I've come to fetch you, my lady. It is time. What's your name? I literally was reading comments saying, don't forget to choose a name. And guess what we forgot to do? Choose a name. Um. Uh, this is stress. Amelia? There's Amelia. Amelia is really pretty. Okay, let's do Amelia. It's giving me fancy vibes. So let's do that. Is that how you spell Amelia? That's gonna be it. Alexa, how do you spell Amelia? Amelia is spelled A. M. E. L. I. A. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Would you like to customize? The name Amelia means work. Okay, Alexa, stop. Okay, let's customize her. Why do we not have a lot of options? That's cute, right? I like the straight though. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna take my time customizing it because every time I do it, I like stress out and then I end up hating them. It's, there we go. Ew, you see those bright colors just ain't it. I think the dark purple is gonna be... There's the red. I feel like the red is fierce. Like she's giving me expensive, you know? But Or is she giving me hooker? I don't know. It's either hooker or glossy. I don't know! Okay, I feel like I like the way she looks now. That took me a hot minute. If you don't like her, I'm sorry. I think she looks pretty. So let's do, yeah, she, that's what she's gonna look like. I peeked into the throne room. It seems like the entire world is here to see who the king will choose to marry his son. Are we an option of, like, is he gonna marry us? Okay, <laughs> obviously, okay. Are you ready? Am I? I'm the ordinary girl who should have never been allowed to compete for the prince's hand. And yet you've made it this far. Now I just need to find out if I've been chosen to marry the love of my life. Wait, she loves him? <laughs> okay, I'm already liking this. Or if he'll be betrothed to another. Should we give her British action? Betrothed to another? No? Yes? Yes. <laughs> Three weeks ago. We're outside the Palace of Castile where an entourage of Europe's most eligible bachelorettes are arriving. These girls have been invited to buy the most coveted man of the century, the prince himself. In the time-honored tradition, his father, the king, will name the woman to become his son's bride. His father picks? <laughs> That's depressing. <laughs> Let's go see if we recognize any of the lucky girls. Milady, it's Lady Cordelia of Castile, the queen's goddaughter. Tell us, how do you feel about being invited to compete to be the prince's bride? Mm, they're not related, are they? I don't think- did I read that wrong? I probably did. <laughs> I was born for this role. Okay, Cordelia. <laughs> I've been training to be a princess since birth, so my statement is for the other girls. You may as well pack your bags. Not with that attitude. He's not gonna want you. I'm sorry. Sorry, sis. No. Pick your prince charming for the rest of the story. Theodre, the dark horse prince? Oh, okay. Or we have Caspian, the flirty prince. Mm, I don't know about that. Or we have Philip, the sweetheart prince. Uh, sorry. We want like a bad boy type of guy. <laughs> so we're gonna go with Theodre, the dark horse prince. Yeah, why not? A notable absence was Prince Theodred himself. Do you want to change the look of your Prince Charming? Oh my god, yes please. Okay, let's change him. Let's take our time. <laughs> okay, let's change his hair first of all because it's looking greasy at the moment. He has to have like a very nice cut because he's a prince, right? He's supposed to look 
Oh, oh, I like that. I don't know why this hair, it just, it screams to me. Change the color. Should we make him blonde? That's like the complete opposite of her. Oh, we could do like a dirty blonde. Let's try it. We haven't done a blonde guy before, I don't think. So let's see. He's like cute, right? Like, I feel like the brown, I don't know why. I just like brown haired guys. I wasn't feeling the blonde. I tried. I really tried. The colors on here just weren't working with me. So we're going to go with this. Does he look like other characters that I made? Probably. Is it, do I have a type? Probably. It's fine. He looks great. Okay. He's gorgeous. You've got great taste. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. I know. According to our sources, he has not been seen in weeks. He's just waiting to be, you know, out in public. So who knows what the prince is thinking? Amelia? Oh, hey mama. Are you ready? Your first shift starts soon. Yes, I'm ready. Sorry, I was just watching. Well, soon you'll be inside the palace. You'll be getting all the royal gossip firsthand. Oh, mom, I doubt I'll even see any of it from the kitchen. Hey, kitchen work is honest work, and it's one step closer to your dream. One step closer to opening my own bakery, having my own cooking show, writing a recipe. Oh, opening my own bakery. We're a girl boss, period. I'm so proud of you, Amelia. Mom has always made so many sacrifices for me to be able to live my dream. I'm going to make her proud. I love her so much. I won't let her down. I won't. Well, all of these. I'm going to make her proud, though. I'm gonna make you proud, Mom. You'll see. Now you better get moving. You can't be late your first day. Oh, okay. We're gonna be cooking it up. Stop. What business do you have with the palace? Um, we're the new baker chef person? So, please move. I'm Amelia, the new assistant pastry chef. Confirm she's on the list. A guard will escort you to the grand foyer. Wait here and someone will see you through to the kitchen. Wow, I can't believe I'm in the palace. Girl, don't start dancing in the middle. Amelia, I'm Sylvia, the head pastry chef. Nice to meet you. Your degree is impressive, top of your class in culinary school. Thank you so much. One day I hope to open my own bakery. It's always been my dream to share my passion with the world. Your majesty, oh my god, Cur curtsy, I'm sorry, that was stressful. Whoa, why are they putting timers on this? This is stress right here. Should we give her a British accent? I think so. <laughs> Me just using an excuse. Have you seen my son? I cannot locate him anywhere. Apologies, your majesty, I have not. Ugh, oh, these games are becoming tiresome. Good day to you. Good day, your majesty. Oh my god. <laughs> She's kind of scary. Hey, miss. Well done for curtsying. Their majesties expect the utmost respect at all time. Come along now. Sylvia begins to show you around the palace. Now the kitchen is at the end of these doors. It's security locked, so you'll need your ID card to open it. My ID card? Yes, didn't they give you a staff ID card at the front security desk? No, they didn't. Make your way to the kitchen. I'll go get it from the security office. Thanks. Sylvia's the homegirl. This doesn't look like the kitchen. Definitely not. What are you? Oh, oh hey, Theodore. <laughs> hey, Theo. <laughs> I, who, who are you? You, you're uh, Prince Theodore of Castile and you all. I, uh... You remember Sylvia's words and you need to curtsy, but your feet feel locked in place. He reaches out and touches your arm and feels a shiver run down your spine as his fingers brush your skin. You're already touching us? Sir, take me out to dinner first. <laughs> Please, what's your name? My name? You try to speak, but the piercing gaze he pins you with holds you captive and you are completely lost. What is in hit? <laughs> what? Exquisite bluey green eyes. What are you doing in here? Oh, your highness. My apologies for her. It's her first day. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I was just asking her name. You need not to bother with that, your highness. Your mother is looking for you. <laughs> Okay, you're not the homegirl, Cynthia. I mean, Cynthia. <laughs> Sylvia, you're actually mean. <laughs> we'll be out of your hair. Come along. Sylvia hurries you out of the room, but you can't help glancing back one last time. His greeny blue eyes bore into you until you turn the corner, severing whatever connection you just had, coursing through your veins like electricity. Oh, is he looking at us? Hey. <laughs> that night, you lay awake in bed, trying to make your brain turn off. But instead, it keeps replaying the moment you shared with the prince. The way his fingers felt as they touched your skin, your whole body seems to tingle the heat radiating from your arm. I need some air. That'll help clear my head. Girl, you just met him. Honestly, that's me, though. Connection. I connection with one person. I'm in love. Oh, uh, not... What? Girl, not her getting all dirty. Hey, watch where you're going, slide down, stupid bike. Watch where you're going. Uh, watch where you're driving. Um, is that... That's the... <laughs> Oh, that's the prince. Girl, you can't be talking to him like that. I'm so sorry. Are you hurt? <laughs> I can't keep doing this accent. <laughs> I can't. I'm just gonna do regular one. I'm so sorry. Are you hurt? <laughs> I don't know which one I should do. Oh well. No, I'm not hurt, but... Oh. 
Oh my god, it's you, your highness. White, you're the girl from early at the palace. What are you doing out so late alone? I could ask you the same. Can a girl not go for a walk? That's none of your business. Uh, I could ask you the same, prince. <laughs> I could ask you the same. Holy, what, did I just say that out loud? <laughs> yeah. No, we have to have a little bit of sass. Yeah, you could, but I really don't want to say. I'm not supposed to be outside the palace right now. I'd appreciate if you didn't tell anyone. I wouldn't, your highness. It's not my place. It's just Theodred or Theo. And I never caught your name. My name is Amelia, your high- Sorry, Theo. I'm sorry, I can't believe I shouted at you before. I regret my choice of words. Didn't know it was you. I tend to say what I feel. The last one. We don't have a filter, do we? I don't always have a filter. I found it refreshingly honest. I guess that's good because I can pretty much guarantee I'll do it again. Sorry, I'm not laughing you. I just... I've been having a pretty miserable day and now that's twice you've managed to brighten it. Aww! <laughs> Oh my god, we'd love to be your light in your world, of course, um, but she's shivering, so yeah. Thank you for that, Amelia. Oh, that's quite all right. You're shivering, yeah, thanks to you, because you're a little splash puddle. Yeah, sorry, your fault. Oh my gosh, I completely drenched you with that damn puddle. He's giving us his jacket? Okay, hold up. I feel terrible. Please let me at least try to make it up to you. Here, take my jacket, accept the prince's kindness, and take the jacket. Rudely turn him down. We can't be rude to a prince, even though we were just rude. Anyways, I'm gonna take his jacket, because why not? Thank you, that's so gracious, generous, caring. That's so generous. That's so generous of you, Theo. Not at all, it looks way better on you than it does on me anyway. Oh, he's flirting with us. But honestly, I don't think I've done enough yet. What do you mean? Are you hungry? Uh <laughs> Count me in. Count me in. I know this great little diner not far from here. They make the best cheeseburgers in Castile. That sounds amazing. I don't eat burgers. Fun. That sounds amazing. Oh, I eat burgers. <laughs> that sounds amazing. You can ride on the back of my bike. Don't worry. I'll watch where I'm going this time. I've got precious cargo. Where the cargo are we? <laughs> you can't get over how surreal it all feels. Racing through the streets of Castile with Prince Theo under nothing but the night sky and dim street lights. Your cheek against his back, the cool wind in your face making you more aware that you're alive than you felt in a long time. Hold on tight. <laughs> Is this our first unofficial official date? I think so. You and Theo sit back in your diner booth full and happy. You were right, the burger was amazing. Told you you could trust me. I can't believe I'm sitting in a diner with a prince that Theo eats burgers, that any of this is that any of this is real. Like, you think he would like hate us? <laughs> when I was little, one day my dad took me outside the palace and we came here, got these burgers. It's one of my happiest memories. You've only had this burger once? Yeah, it's honestly very rare that I have any time to go anywhere. My life is very regimented. Duty to the crown comes first. I know it's not the same, but I kind of feel the same. My mom really never had a lot of money, so I've had jobs from as early as I can remember trying to help out. We scraped by so I could go to school, and now I'm hopeful I'll be able to one day open my own bakery and pay her back. I've always had the sense of duty to her, to our family, ever since I was a kid. That's exactly it. You feel almost like you had to grow up too fast. Like you never got to have a childhood. You finish his sentence and feel a blush rising on your cheek. Theo bites his lips and look away. Oh. <laughs> okay. Can I tell you a secret? Of course. You really trust me, eh? As long as I don't owe you one. Um, of course. But, okay. I'm, I mean, sure. Right. Well, why not? Definitely. I've never spoken to anyone before who doesn't walk on eggshells. Everyone adverts their eyes and bows. You're just you. You speak your mind so confidently, but you're also so kind and compassionate. Honestly, from the moment I saw you, I was transfixed. And I was right. You're not like any girl I've ever met before. Was it love at first sight for you, Theo? It was for us too. <laughs> There's something so different about you. Something so real. Thank you. Can I ask you a question now? Of course. Where were you going tonight in such a rush? A dark look spreads over Theo's face. Tomorrow the competition for whom I will be forced to marry begins. So at sunrise my life no longer belongs to me. There's this cliff jumping spot at Aramit Falls and ever since I was a kid I begged my parents to go but I was never allowed to. Tonight something in me just said screw it, go. That's where I was going when I ran into you. I guess I wanted to feel a moment of total freedom in control of your own life, a night exempt from duty, a moment of total freedom, a moment of pure freedom. Theo looks up to you a little surprised. Exactly. When I left the palace tonight, all I was expecting was to go at Emirate Falls, but then, then I ran into you and... Do you believe in things like that? Fate? I always have. I don't really. Maybe I do now. I always have. You got to, honestly. I believe in fate and timing. I just feel like I was meant to meet you. Me too. But, like, you're a prince, 
and we're literally working for you. So I don't think they're gonna like that, like at all. You know we have to do this, Theo, right? You waited your whole life to do that jump. You deserve to spend your last night of freedom taking the leap. You'll come with me? Oh, I choose life. <laughs> I choose life, sir. That does not sound safe to me. He takes your hand and your stomach flops as a fold of electricity travels between your fingers. When he holds your hand? <laughs> Okay, that would mean so much. Honestly, now that I've met you, I can't imagine doing this without you. Go with Theo and make this the best night of his life. Force him to miss out and make him take you home? <laughs> no, we want him to fall in love with us. Hello, like this is the one chance we get for him to actually love us. So I'm spending the coin. I'm, I have, I have no self-control at all and I'm fine with that. <laughs> Let's do this. You climb through a thick brush and arrive at the tall fence surrounding Emirate Falls. You doing okay? Yeah, I can handle my own. I'm having a blast. It's just a little dark out here. It's just like, uh, I, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. You don't have to worry about me. I can tell you're strong. I wasn't worried. <laughs> We're independent. I'm actually having fun for the first time in forever. He grins at you and you bite your lip before turning back to the fence. I'll lead the way, go after you, let you give me a boost. I'll let you give me a boost. Will you give me a boost? Of course. Oh, okay, so we're just jumping fences? Is this illegal? <laughs> From the top of the cliffs, the view is astounding. Someone take me on a day like this, minus the jumping off a cliff thing, because, like, I'm not really into that. Wow, it's breathtaking. The warm summer night breeze caresses your skin as Theo reaches for your waist. The water below looks cool, calm, and refreshing as the stars sparkle on the surface. Should we jump? I mean, if you're in, you go first. What if we go together? Um, what if we go together? Let's jump at the very same time. I love that. Oh, <laughs> not them stripping. Okay, you know what? Fine. One, two, three, jump. Oh, that's a really tall, that's that's a really big cliff. Okay. I can't believe we did that. I know, feel how fast my heart is beating. Theo snakes his arm around my waist and pulls you in close, placing your hand on his heart and feel it stat hammering. <laughs> He's very touchy. Sir, you're gonna break our heart. I already know it. Your fingers trace his toned bicep and you feel your own heart matching his beat for beat as you feel your cheeks growing heated. I don't think I've ever done anything so spontaneous before. I feel so alive. Thank you. Thank you for doing this with me. You're welcome. It was fun. It was terrifying. Uh, it was fun. It was so much fun. We should do it again sometime. Back on the beach, you change back into your clothes as you watch the waves cascading down on the shore. And for the first time tonight, Theo's quiet. He's lost in thought. I should ask what's on his mind. Say he seems distant. Ask if he's okay. Let's ask if he's okay. Are you okay? Sorry, I'm just kind of lost in thought thinking of how amazing it would be if we could do this every night. I don't think my heart could take a cliff jumping every night, but I could go for a movie or something. You also wish there could be a next time? Yes, of course. What do you think? Of course. Of course, I've had more fun tonight than I've ever had before. I would like that too, more than anything. But the only way would be... would be what? Do you know much about the competition that starts tomorrow? I know there's lots of ladies arriving at the palace. They all want to be chosen to be your bride. No, they all want to be the future queen. Not a single woman there knows the real me or gives a damn about who I am. They want my crown, unfortunately. I just happen to be attached to it. Mm, that's not, that's not lovely at all. I'm sorry. Do you know the king is the one who gets to decide who I marry? I don't have a say at all. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. The only thing I get is a single signet ring. What's a signet ring? Like this, it acts as an invitation to the palace. It's a symbol of our house, our lineage. Any woman in the possession of a signet of the crown of Castile may compete to be my bride and therefore the next queen. That sounds exciting, romantic, old fashioned. Um, that sounds old fashioned. I don't think that's romantic really because like he doesn't even really get to choose. Like it's just like a competition. Like something out of a black and white movie. But wait, why do you still have the ring? Shouldn't you have given it away to some duchess or princess or something? I still have it because I never found anyone I wanted to invite. Oh. <laughs> Is he gonna give it to us? Is, is he gonna give it to us? I never met anyone who sees the real me. Not until tonight, that is. <laughs> Don't make me blush. You're not allowed to do this. <laughs> Pardon? I was just saying that someone will be up soon. I should drive you home. Oh, yes. Thank you. Theo drives you home and you hug him extra tight, desperately aware of how fast it's slipping through your fingers. He leans into your embrace and you take a deep breath, inhaling his deep, heady scent and closing your eyes. If these are your last moments together, you make a vow to make the most of them to never forget. Back at your apartment building, a breeze sends a chill down your back as he pulls you in for a hug. Is this goodbye? 
I don't want to say goodbye. For a moment, you wonder what it would be like to feel his strong arms holding you close every day. Thank you for tonight. It was honestly the best night I've ever had in my life. You told me that you believe in fate. I think after tonight, I do too. How? <laughs> You're literally supposed to be married. What do you mean? He says nothing, but his beautiful blue eyes meet yours in a piercing gaze, and you wonder for a split second if he's going to kiss you. Oh, why is he bowing? Instead, he bends to kiss your hand, and you feel yourself come alive, his lips burning you up like a brown. Oh my god, when he's a gentleman, <laughs> you can kiss my hand anytime. It might be a little ashy or crazy, but, <laughs> but like, hey. Thank you for the best night of my life. Wait, where's his necklace? It disappeared. Where'd it go? Where, where'd it go? He turns away and you feel a tug in your stomach like gravity pulling you towards him as he turns to walk away. And just like that, it's over. Theo mounts his bike and disappears into the night. As you stand clutching your heart, silently saying goodbye to the only man you've ever met who made it skip a beat. Back into your bedroom, you reach for your phone in your pocket and feel something you don't recognize. Pull it out. He put the necklace in there. I know he did. What's this? I couldn't throw it away because it doesn't belong to me anymore. It belongs to you. Come to the palace, Theo X. When did he have time to write a note? But like, of course we'll come to the palace. <laughs> you reach back into your pocket once more and find the ring. Oh my god, he's inviting me to compete to be his bride? <laughs> we have to compete against all these girls to be his bride? That's intimidating, but I'll do anything for you, Theo. What will await you in the competition to be the prince's bride? Keep reading to find out. Oh my god, guys. Okay. Okay. I'm liking the story so far. It's actually so cute. Um, also, Theo. I, am I alone with Theo already? I think so. But, guys. Um, uh, yeah, I actually love him already. Um, but let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of this series so far. I think it's going to be good. I cannot wait to do the next episode. It's going to be so good. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, how I made them look. I hope you guys like them. I think they look good. Like, they, yeah, it's giving me, I don't know what it's giving me, but that's, they're staying like that. I like how they look. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, comment down below. Oh, also, do I do a British accent for them? Like, I feel like it's just like, I feel like when I'm forcing it, my British accent just isn't good. Like, you know, when it's natural and stuff, but when I'm forcing it, I'm like, how do I speak? I don't know. But yeah, I feel like I should give them a British accent, but like at the same time, that's so much work, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but yeah, I love y'all. Don't forget to love yourself. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace out, scouts. Bye!